anything you see here, and I, those are the other ones I'm going to. And I like to paint to music, so I paint standing up. For me, painting is very physical, and I use gesture a lot. So I put the canvas on an easel, I play the music very loud, and I like to move. So with gesture, you can get a sweep. And that's what I think is my work, is energy, too. So there's certain times in the painting where I'm painting fast and putting a lot of energy in it. But then you have to stand back and your artist's eye has to say, well, is this working and what does it mean? And one thing you can see is that I'm in love with color. Uh, most of the group that I have here you use a lot of reds and oranges, which are my favorite colors. And I mix them with greens and whatever is necessary. But I also start, like Hilda said, doing a background, which then comes through. So I work in layers. So I'll paint one day, and then I'll let it sit, and then I'll turn it because I paint all four sides. But then finally, when it's in its orientation, I don't change it again. In other words, it works for me this way, not upside down, not sideways. I make it work that way. Okay? And for me, as I say, the composition is so important and getting it to work right that I, you know, the same for me. I would never turn a painting around or we'll cut it in half. So I make it work like that. And I think some of the other elements in my art, especially for those who are not used to non-objective art, you know, wondering what, why abstract, why non-objective, why aren't we painting, you know, something that you can recognize as an object. And I think everything in our life affects our art, everything we've seen, every other art I've seen, so that uh, all the artists that came before me are important in my work, or some are more important than others. But uh, the shapes and symbols form a kind of iconography, icon or signs, so that they have personal meaning for me, but they may have different meanings for you when you look at it. For me, X's are important, and circles. And I think the X, in some ways, is a primitive mark. It's like leaving your mark on the world, marking your place. Uh, people might put an X for their signature, right? For me, it's also physical. Sometimes on a big canvas, I'll make a big X, and it's very physical, satisfying to do that. So part of it is very physical and the satisfaction of making a mark. It's very visual, the, the colors and the way the colors work together. So it's a, an experience and it's an improvisation that comes out of the process of doing it. So when I start, I have no idea where I'm going to end up. I put a few colors on and I, I, I start to, to move with it. I put the energy in. I'm not really thinking in words, okay? I'm thinking visually so that I'm not making a decision, oh, I'm going to do this or that, or this needs a square here or X there. It's all a visual response to what's going on on the canvas. And then at some point, as Hilda said, it seems, aha, that's it. And sometimes on a painting you know right away, this is it, it's finished. Other times you have to let, let it wait a few days, keep looking at it, looking at it in different light. Sometimes I'll go hang it on a different wall, and then when you feel that, yes, this is right, you know, then you know it's done. And for me, it's done forever. I tend to have to work on a painting once it's really finished. Can I answer any questions? Hilda mentions she does this at WQXR. What kind of music do you listen to? Okay, I uh, listen to the Brubeck, or Rock and Roll, the Rolling Stones, uh, Leonard Cohen I love, guitar, and music of the Andes, whatever I feel that's going to make me paint that day. And I listen to the same thing over and over and over, you know, and I say, I make it very loud. And then at some point, I just say, no, I had enough of that music, and I'll change it, you know. And, uh, so and there's certain times in the painting that's really important, when I'm sort of in the ac action stage, putting the energy into it, the music is important. After a certain point, I'm more focused on the visual elements rather than what I'm doing. Why did you choose to do abstract art? Well, I started out in art school, school having to do life drawing, and when I was younger, of course, I painted uh, still lifes and painted from landscapes and so forth. But I love the luscious surfaces and the color and the line and form. So even when I was looking at realistic paintings, I didn't see the tree, you know, or the lake or whatever, or the figure. I just saw the compositional elements, the color, the line, uh, the movement in and out of the canvas. So that's what I fell in love with. The longer I worked, I just keep becoming more and more abstract, and I did um, collage for a while, and that helped me focus on the compositional elements. And once I kept, once I went that way, I never looked back.